full of respect. Oh, I'm sure you know what I mean. Luca, Kyrie, Clay, and Spencer about to be cooking. We told Nico run it back, and that's what he doing. He said they wanted magic. Well, that's what they brewing. Lively on Max Magic, got her ready to prove it. Mm, queen on the rap. And too much on the beat, on the beat. Yeah, we ten toes down, down. We stand on own two feet, feet. And we said Nico run it back. back I think he know what we need no, we He need. said we standing on business There's no I in team Oh, well oh, y'all be back uh, We standing on business Yeah, we back to witness Team back to the gym We going hard out doing fitness Let the haters be a witness We made it to the finals Now we back YouTube, Glow Yard Gang, MFFL, podcast listeners all over the globe. God, welcome to a brand spanking new episode. When we talk Mavs, when we talk Dallas Mavs from a fan's perspective, we got uh, DJ King on the ones and twos, letting that beat play. Huge win for the Mavs tonight, man, as y'all already know. Much needed win for the Mavs, man. So now we have what you would call a win streak. I don't know if some of y'all seen that movie, uh, Major League Two, when the, when the manager said that. He said, you won two games in a row. It's, uh, two games in a row. It's called a win streak. Win streak. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, yeah, now officially got a win streak going, man. So, but yeah, man, you know, we're here to talk about it. Y'all know how it go. Definitely appreciate y'all joining us here. Uh, listen, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and do us a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Also, too, everybody hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that like button. Help us build up the algorithm and find more mad fans like yourselves. You join us here to talk about these maps. Yes, All right, King, you ready to get to it, man? I am, bro. Let's do this. Yeah, man, you, you're not ready, man. If you was ready, you would say, go ahead and bring on the sponsor of this channel. A huge thank you goes out to Fanatics for continuing to sponsor the channel. If you're looking for the latest Mavs gear, NBA gear, or merchandise in general of any other sports team, check out Fanatics and be sure to use our custom link on the screen and always in the show's description. If you're currently watching the show, scanning the QR code on the screen is the easiest way to get the link. And Glow Yard, this season is looking to be a special, special, special one. Yes, sir. Listen, guys, it's never too late to copy you some brand new Mav merch. All you got to do is scroll on down to the description box below. Click on that link. And it takes you right to Fanatics where you guys can copy any Mav merch that you want, whether it be a T-shirt, jersey, hat, socks, draws uh flip flops um golf clubs um little stuff animals you no know, little teddy bears and stuff um you know whatever you want i think they got all that on there king's gonna go ahead and he's gonna confirm that for me gotcha. and he'll let you know but listen like i said guys go ahead and scroll on down to the description box below man y'all can find the uh, all your dreams and all your, your goals down in the description box at fanatics.com man all right king you ready to get to it man yes sir I think I already said that, but no, you're not ready though. You, you, you're not ready though. You're not ready for this. All right, now we're ready. Let's go ahead and put that in the people face. Dallas wins 121 to 119 against the dreaded OKC Thunder. Dallas shot 47% from the field. Thunder shot 49%. Three-point percentage. Dallas shot 40%, y'all, to OKC's 33. Free throws. Dallas 83%, 30 of 36. OKC 19 of 25 for 76. Man, y'all don't want to do y'all, y'all want to see the, the 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 huge part of this game, man, that that's really mm. winning our favor. Mm. Mm. Rebounds. 53. <laughs> I want y'all to listen to what I'm about to say. 53 to 29. Okay. Mm. Offensive rebounds. Listen to this too, y'all. 18 to 7. Mm. Check this out too, y'all. Defensive rebounds. 35-22. Mm. 
that right there, ladies and gentlemen, was a staple of the game right there, y'all. But yeah, man, listen. Go ahead, King. Let the folks at home know, man. What was your takeaway from the game today? This was the Dallas Mavericks. This is why everything seemed weird with our record and all, um, knowing the talent that we have on the team. I know OKC was uh, without some of their guys, but they've been without some of their guys the whole season, and they still were, like, number one in the West. Yep. Uh, we were on a back-to-back. We were without our best player, and we were playing the second game of the night in OKC. I mean, second game of the, uh, the back-to-back in OKC. This is a great win. Um, big-time win for the whole team. Uh, big time with the Jason Kidd, bro. Uh, the the ball movement was incredible tonight. Uh, Kyrie didn't force much. Uh, he really just let guys cook and uh, took us home when we needed him. Uh, P.J. Washington started the show today. But, I mean, we already knew what he could do, at least what we knew what he could do. There's some people that, that still question it, I guess, but it's P.J. Washington, bro. Um, the centers, centers. We stayed with our game plan today. We stayed big. Uh, kudos to Jason Kidd again for not – people on playback were like, why are you guys – why are we playing this way? Why are we playing with our center and, you know, having the guys leaving open threes and all that? And I'm like, well, it's a philosophy. They're going to get open threes because you're playing with the center and you're, you're having your center, you know, roam in the paint and basically make sure guys can't get easy buckets at the rim. So when you're playing against – when a center's playing against somebody, a forward or a, a guard or whatever, and the guard's out in the wing, sometimes it's going to be open threes just – then other people's jobs to go and uh, rotate and switch out or whatever and help out. I thought we played a good job. Uh, Shea got his points. Uh, everybody else felt like we did as good as we could do. Uh, great defensive performance. I know they got 119, but the referees kind of tried to build them out. It was some wild referee uh, today again, but I don't really want to get to that. The negative, bro, which is a good game. Uh, everybody came out to play. Najee tried to do a little too much at the end, uh, but – we made up for it, man. PJ just clutched with the free throws. PJ, man. PJ was just PJ. It was good to see Jaden Hardy out there. Jaden Hardy was incredible. Uh, kid, looks like the rotation rotations are finally, we talked about this the last, I think, show, Ralph. They're finally starting to, you know, you, you see what's the Mavericks like uh, pecking order right now. And I'm like, man, pause. Uh, like Hardy was good. Quentin Grimes, everybody, bro. This is a good game, bro. The team stepped up the bench, stepped up the day. Uh, like I said, PJ and, and Kyrie did PJ and Kyrie things. I know Clay struggled today, but you're not going to get everything perfect. That's just the way it is. This is going to be the games where, where Clay's gravity is more important to him scoring. And uh, he did his. He was he was out there doing his thing defensively. He wasn't bad. Again, what what else could you do out there instead of you know when your shots aren't falling? He was doing other things. I was not disappointed with anybody today, bro. I thought everybody played an incredible game today. Um, even like I said, from Jason Kidd on down, he had the guys ready to play. And it's a back, a back to back. Just good things to say, bro. We need Luca now. Like I said, I thought the major thing this season was just Luca getting our MVP back. That's the main thing. Everything looks looks funny and ugly, and even in the clutch because our MVP hasn't been MVP like. We get him back. This is the team right here. We can play with. We got skill. We saw it all day today. Guys just getting to the rim, doing what they wanted to do. It was just bully ball. Jason Kidd stayed with the plan. He did not go small, did not try to go OKC's way. He tried to make OKC just go towards us and play our type of ball. So kudos to the whole team, bro. Excellent game. And um, now we can let Luca rest another game, bro. Well, I mean, suppose they said uh, Kidd said he might be back on the next games. So okay. we'll see. Yeah. Uh, I'm not I'm not mad at him resting another game. Just want to make sure he get 100% healthy, man. I want him to come back playing those 70, 80% or whatever. Yeah. Uh, got the team that can hold it down until he actually get back. But uh, anyway, um, great win. Great win for the team. Uh, like you said, OKC has been shorthanded all year, and he still got the, has to have the best record in the West. Uh, so I don't want to hear that excuse. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't shoot for free throws in their shot, man, because, you know, you know, they – Boy, uh, Shay live at the free throw line. FTA, uh, yeah, FTA. He, he got bailed out a couple times, but it's out to Johnny B. Uh, they did a pretty good job on him on the defensive side. Uh, in the fourth quarter, there, uh, him, BJ Washington, yeah, PJ. Um, like, like you said, man, this was one of them games. This is the Dallas Mavericks we've been talking about. This is the team that we've been trying to tell folks they could be right here. This, what they just showed us tonight. Uh, listen, they played with force tonight. They played, they played like they were the bigger team. They played with energy tonight. 
They play with ball movement. They play with people movement. Shout out to foot. I mean, they play with all of it, man. Like I said, like you said, we we, we talked about it on the last show. If they're gonna go into this game knowing that you know OKC was gonna have uh, a six six guy playing the, the the center position, Dallas needs to impose their their will on them in this game, and they did that today, man. Both centers did pretty good today. They played, uh, like you said, played big pause, but um, that's what you were supposed to do. Yeah. And I, like you said, I know the people in the playback were talking about why they playing with the centers and stuff like that. That's what I told you. That's why I said, this is what I said to y'all on the last show. When people think that it's a certain formula you got to stick with to win games, and we saw this last year with this team. The team was 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 opposing their will on people, putting you know, saying the way they played. They were a bigger team. They were more physical. We lived in the paint. Matter of fact, let me see something real quick, bro. Uh yeah okay we had fifty two paint points they had fifty four, uh but yeah I mean just living in the paint bro like that's what we that's what we normally have or normally are you got guys like Naj you can get to the paint hit you with the floater you had uh, Coach Gafford and Lively, uh you know Kyrie gonna try to get you go in there and get at least get one foot in the in the paint, uh you saw Jaden Hardy was living in the paint today you know what I'm saying we got these guys PJ was living in the paint I like the way that they they utilize our size today from the jump. PJ went in there. He looked like a man possessed today. I'm gonna start calling PJ the daddy of uh, OKC Thunder, bro. He's seen the he own. Love OKC, bro. He's seen the own them, bro. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they said something about his mama or what, bro. I don't know. But PJ be owning these people, man. So shout out to PJ on that one. Um, I just I I love the energy he played with, man. We saw him out there. He was being a force on the paint too, not just on the defensive end, but but finishing uh, possessions. I don't know how many times we saw them up against the shot clock, you know what I'm saying, because of their defense. So shout out to them today, man. I mean, like you said, everybody did good today, man. I think the only person who really didn't do too well was, was Clay. But like you said, Clay still created gravity. And uh I think once this shot wasn't falling, he started looking for other guys and stuff like that. Guys swinging to the corners and stuff like that. I think he found Quentin Grimes for a nice little three. Um Jaden Hardy, like I said, he him being out there gave Jaden Hardy the opportunities to get to the basket or whatever. Uh, I don't know how many times our guys got to hit the floor before they get calls. Jay was getting, uh, you know, tapped on the shoulder because they might have to ask him a question and they called a foul for him. So I'm just like, why are guys are getting no foul calls, man? Marginal but, contact. Marginal contact, bro. That's what sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Baby tapped him on the shoulder marginally. Marginal contact, yes. Gotcha. My bad. Uh, so he gets free throws for that. He gets 18 free throws for that uh, per possession. 18 Everything. per possession. Everything we do is incidental. Yes, they didn't even they didn't even go and view the one where Casey Wallace pretty much did a a, a, a who a who on, on my on my yep. guy face. But who was it? Uh, Grimes. Grimes on it. Yep. Yeah, and Grimes looking up like you gonna review that? No. Oh, okay, my bad. Okay, see, you're not gonna review it. Gotcha. Okay, all right. So I told you before, it's just funny how they can catch that stuff when we do it, but when other teams do it, they Ray Charles out here. They can't see nothing. Like, what would you say? I, I, didn't, I didn't hear you. You said what? Well, Najee clearly didn't touch uh, SGA in the face, bro. And they said he touched him. And you heard marking him? Yeah. It was like, I don't know how you could have saw that from that angle. Like, like you, you, it, it's, it's inconclusive from that angle. You have to get it from another angle to yep. see. And when you look over the top part, he did not touch him. I'm just like, touch him, uh-huh. say, well, so if, go. He, if he touched him, why wasn't it a flavor? Probably the same reason why Case and Wallace would. I mean, but it is what it is, man. Uh, like I said, man, everybody did pretty good, man. I'm not, I'm not too mad at it. Like I said, this is a, this is one of those games that we've been looking for. This kind of game, we figured the, the Mavs could play. Like I said, they played quicker, ball movement, people movement, all that good stuff, man. Um, hopefully they can build on to this, man. Cause who we play? To play uh, Pelicans. The Pelicans next. They struggling right now. They, hey, they don't have a center either. Nope. Why you so what you need? But I'm gonna say that. But what they need to do now? The same this game? Take the bank. Okay, there you go. There you go. Um, this you was a huge win, back. though, man. Yeah, yeah, play, 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 Maverick basketball. There you go. Because today we only shot. That was only shot 20, 27 threes. That's fine. That's what. That's that's good. Yeah. That's good. That's why. That's why the percentage was so good today. You know, forty percent. So that's good. They shot forty. Excuse me. Really, I thought they shot like thirty something percent. Forty percent, forty point seven percent from three. Go ahead, Mavericks. That's because you're not shooting forty two of them like uh, OKC did. Right. So that's a good thing, man. Like I said, attacking the paint, played big today, man. So shout out to them. 
Uh, let me see. I don't really have nothing else, man. That's pretty much it, man. It's Great win game. by the team. Yeah, it was it's a really good game, man. From start to finish. It That's wasn't one of them cases see. where they struggled in the first half or first quarter or whatever. They had to, you know, come back or whatever. But they play Maverick basketball. They felt like you were watching the Dallas Mavericks today. Yes. But uh yeah, man. I mean, I got I got too much more to add today. Nah, bro. It was a good Pretty self explanatory, man. Pretty, pretty self explanatory. Even Spencer Dinwiddie showed him today. I mean, he was, was, Spencer Dinwiddie got the smoothest right step back shot of all time. <laughs> He'll left, lower you to sleep. Left, left, left. It's the left. No, nah, he go to the right. He went to the right. Put the good left one there on the top of it. Yeah, it might be right. Because huh. when he did it, I was like, I, I, as soon as he did, it, I was like, damn, that was smooth. Because he was yeah. low, you know, all of a he just. He like do a march. To the to the, yeah. like the right, like he marches he over and then shoots. Yeah, it gets himself into a rhythm with that dribble. So yeah. once he dribbled to the left, bring it back, he's already stepping over and then he's yeah. pulling up for the shot. It be, I was it be like, so- dang, that was nice. And then, anyway, he did it. It's like he was still like it felt like he was still close to the dude, but still had the room. It's like yeah. I'm like, bro, this dude here, man. All all the guy can do is foul. You just shoot your shot. Yeah, he on the side of you, so all he can do is foul. So as long as you shoot your shot, you straight. Because he did it, so it was like. He did it quick, but he didn't do it quick. I don't understand him, bro. Dude's got so many go-to moves. Like, guys don't watch film. That's how I be thinking, like, when LeBron always make that shot when he's looking at the basketball and all, I'm like, bro, <laughs> at that point, you feel me? I, like, I, hate, I hate that move, bro. Nah, I don't hate it because it's LeBron go-to move, man. But I'm it just, just like, how does, old how does man he move, just, man. just spinning the ball? Yeah, and look all, at I'm it. like, bro, like, play defense. What are you doing? Just, <laughs> you just go to the side and shoot. Just and then, like he don't like, even do like a he don't even do like a normal uh, side step. He just like like gently move over to the side yeah, and like then just, just shoot. The side, yep, and just shoots. And I'm like, he does that. Spencer Dinwiddie with that side step three and all. I'm like, yo, you know what he about to do? Like, get ready. And they like, nah. nah. He probably mesmerized too. Like he just like he just. Uh, uh, yeah. He's oh, just like, oh, okay. Oh, you shot it. Oh, okay. Side step. <laughs> like, okay. how do you do that? <laughs> The smoothest side step of all time, bro. Shout out to shout out to Mr. Benson Dinwiddie, man. I'm glad he had a good game today. When did he? Glad everybody had a good game. He did it tonight. When did he? Do? Oh, tonight. He did it for tonight. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, no, nah, that's all I got, man. I ain't got too much, bro. What about you? You got anything else? Nah, bro. Good game. I mean, that's not even like a good game, real talk. That's under uh, statement or whatever. That's that was an excellent game. That was a big game. Big, probably the biggest game of the season so far. Uh, we just beat the number one seed uh, without our guy. Uh, yeah, big bad OKC Thunder. So. You made the most complete game of the year. Yeah, and they, you know, people will tell it. OK, that is what it is. I told you. I already said what I said about OKC. I keep saying what I said about OKC. I don't. I don't fear OKC. I've never feared OKC. No, I don't either. They're just their their game plan, the way their players are. I don't. Their fit isn't like, a, oh my goodness, the Mavericks are like scary. Like PJ Washington cooked them. They have no answer for PJ Washington. Uh, you said 27 points and 17 rebounds. I told you he got two less than Shea's career high on them before with Charlotte. Mm. Yeah, he said that after the game, too, when they interviewed him. He's like, he just loved playing against OKC. I'm like, oh man, OKC. okay, and that's what we got to worry about. OKC, so uh, if PJ going to definitely be our third score, sometimes our second or first when we play OKC, let's go. It's a mommy of PJ against Golden State last year, yeah, when Luca was out, he scored that 32. That's why I said that I want him to get PJ more involved. Bro. I want PJ to not lose like the understanding that he's a scorer as well. Like I don't like him to just be like PJ can get you 15 at least. He should be getting you like 15 a night. I really think PJ should at least be getting you 15 because he should be getting 20s every now and then. And just like I said, but 15 a night, PJ should be around there. I really think so. He's one of the most talented guys we got on the team. But I agree. And we missed his defense. He's the he's he's a shutdown defender. Like he better make the All NBA defense this year. This year. I'm I'm about to promote that right now. We're gonna start that on the show. If it ain't been promoted, like I don't want to wait and down the line and say that PJ Washington should be on the All Defensive Team this year. That's he, he should be on it. We need to get our guy off defensive team finally. Hmm. Yeah, it will be nice, man. But yeah, let's get to this. Uh, let's get to the game ball, man. Before we do, man, let's show some love to the to the app that saves uh, my sports life every night. Let's play back. 
Are you looking for a place where you can watch every MAB game this year, live, including the pre and postseason? We talk that. How about old school basketball matchups from the 90s and early 2000s? We talk that as well. Do you watch wrestling and other things? Well, we talk about those too. If you do, Glow Sun Production on Playback is where you want to be. The app is 100% free and we have plenty of VIPs. So why haven't you joined us yet? Hmm. Why haven't you joined us yet? Hmm. Great question at the end there. Narrator guy, listen, I don't know why you haven't joined us yet, man. Join us over there at Playback, man, where it's absolutely free. We stream all the Dallas Maverick games on Playback, every last one of the games. Also, too, man, you can follow us over there, man, for our old school basketball games. And also, too, King hosts different wrestling events over there, too. So follow us over there on Playback, man. Download wherever you get your apps from. Like I said, it's absolutely free. Help us get to our first 500. That way we can start getting more and more VIPs for you guys. All right, King, let's get to the game. <clears throat> Ball. Yeah. So I know you better start cheating. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I think he played a couple minutes ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I see. Oh, that's right. He did. He came in because remember what's name was in foul trouble. In foul trouble. Yeah, Dwight was Dwight was all right, bro. Like I haven't. There's not. There has not been a point this season where I've been looking like Damn, Dwight in the game. Get him out right now. And um, it's been now, you know what I thought. You know, I thought they was gonna do. Uh, I thought that kid was gonna give in and play small too. So I thought he was gonna have Dwight play a lot today to kind of master his smallness. But yeah. I didn't, I'm, I'm glad he didn't go that route, man. I'm glad he yes. didn't go that route. He played Maverick basketball. He stayed out with But there was a second. There was a, a couple minutes in the game where it was the white where uh, Lively and Gafford was in, were in foul trouble. And yeah. It was it was back to Maxie at the power forward and Dwight at the five. Yeah, Dwight the center. And I yep. was like, oh man, I was having flashbacks. Like, I'm about to nah. say you have PS, you have PTSD. But then Maxie made the dunk though, and I was like, oh okay, I saw you, Maxie. But then he threw the ball to bounds though when he was <laughs> got stripped or whatever, and I was like. What happened, man? Just shoot the three, but nah, the game ball to bro, real tough. It's only two guys I think you can get a game ball to. I'm, I'm gonna give it to one, you know, my guy, uh, PJ Washington, bro. PJ, PJ, 3J, um, standing on business, whatever you want to say, man. That's the dude, he's legit. Um, is it is it bad that I, I, I prefer Maxi to put the ball on the floor than actually shoot threes? I mean, right now, both of them, probably. I was thinking that during the game, I was like, oh, I was cringing when he's going to shoot that shot, like you said. Then he pump faked it and then dribbled it in, got that dunk. I was like, okay, all right. And he did another one, too, where he did a pump fake. I think he went in for like a shot or something. I forgot what it was, but I think on the right side of the goal. And I was like, okay. And I was like, you know what? I think I, I, think I feel better with him actually putting the ball. I feel better with Massey putting the ball on the floor compared to him shooting wide open uh, set shots, bro. That's crazy, bro. This is supposed to be a stretch five. Stretch. <laughs> I ain't talking about stretch Armstrong either, bro. I'm talking about a stretch five, bro. Stretch. But uh, let me see. Since King always want to be getting the, when I was getting the good people, man. I gotta, I gotta get the leftovers here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give out my. Let me get my. Crap, man. Hmm. That's only one person you can get a game ball to, man. Stop playing. I was, I was gonna give it to Kyrie, but I, I'm trying to see. I'm, I'm trying to get my. You, you, you want to get no shout outs to nobody, so I got to do all the shout outs. So the whole team, man. Come on, stop playing, right? All right. So old Max, uh, give him the shout out. Yeah, give him. Uh, you know he was he was he was there. He was there. Did he play the match? Uh, For real? Nah, nah, he didn't play. He got a DMP, didn't he? Nah, he didn't play, bro. Nah, that's wrong, man. You dirty for that, one, man. <laughs> I thought he got a DMP, bro. I'm like, I don't think Omax got no burn, man. He like, you dirty D, man. Well, you know, it's funny though. When you asked me that, I had to think for a second. Like, hold on, I had to think like, oh, he? we ain't no, no, he no like, like so garbage Morris, time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Morris, uh, Edwards, uh, B. Will, and uh, Prosper didn't play today. Okay. And I think I think the only reason why, um, of course, then we play played because Luca didn't play. Yeah. But uh, other than that, let me see. I can shout uh, Dinwiddie out, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. You played pretty well today. We did. Excuse me. You know, you know, you know who else could have got game ball? Jaden Hardy. Jay, bro, Jaden Hardy was cooking today, bro. Boy, Jaden Hardy been cooking over the last like three games, bro. Like, three, like four Jay, games. Jaden Hardy was nice today. Like I'm, I don't mean like just having a, a a showing where he's scoring buckets. I mean he was nice today. I mean if somebody would have saw Jaden Hardy for the first time today, they'd be like that. Jaden Hardy, nice man. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting this right. You saying if he gets consistent minutes, know his role, he could play well. Who trying to tell him? Bro, he's beasting today, bro. He's, he's making mistakes and all still on some like passes and all, but he's getting better with his vision. He made one pass to uh who was it, Kyrie? I think we had, yeah. we had Kyrie under he's the basket. Off oh, for the layup. Oh, oh Jay, I right, yeah. see you, Jay. I see you hardy. But yes. Uh, let me see. Let me see. So I, uh, the, the two centers, like I said, Derek Lively Easy. and Gafford, Easy. both of them did their thing in the paint today, man. Like, listen, like a, this, this is what we've been talking about with them, man, playing with force, and they yeah. did that today. And okay. that we definitely need them today, man, because how many times have we been that team where, like you just said a minute ago, we had the White and Maxi starting or whatever, and we getting dominated by, you know, Zubas or somebody, man, you know what I'm saying, because they're, they're, that team is bigger than us, right? Like I, I, it was, it felt it felt good today to actually see us be that dominant today. You know what I'm saying? Like us be that dominant force in the paint, bro. Like I said, it, it looked like you was like playing like a little five year old. They were getting the ball and the kids trying to jump at it. You know what I'm saying? Why you trying mm-hmm. to? Okay, move, lay up. All right. That's how, that's yeah. how you feel. Like just getting every offensive put back and all. It's like get out my way. That's why I should have been more foul calls. I felt like I don't want to referees too much. But go ahead, you go ahead, go ahead, man. I felt like they was handicapping. Like us, like because they were so they were smaller, they were letting them play more physical. Like you know everything, our guys couldn't do anything at all as far as our centers. So, because, wow, we couldn't do that then. When that's what I'm saying. Because they were smaller, they 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 were like you guys should be able to get rebounds and all. You're not getting these fouls, bro. Whenever we play small against other teams, we didn't get that benefit. I say it's right. Oh, you grab it on. Before. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you saying it's right. I'm just saying in general, like we don't get that benefit, like. We like I said, we were playing the white pal against Zubas and all this old stuff, bro. We weren't getting that benefit. Up, oh, you fouled him. He going to the line. Like, wait, what? They they holding they holding Lobby's arm and stuff. He having to grab the, the rebound with one arm. I'm just like, so you're not calling that? And I'm hearing the guys on the on the on the show say that too, bro. I'm like, yo, call that. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have to get y'all a dictionary so that you can learn the difference between two words, marginal, right, and incidental. Okay, so. So he was marginal on uh, Lobby. The Mavericks are marginal, gotcha. like when you hit SGA in the face and don't even touch him. Marginal contact, right? Right. But when, like, when Quentin Grimes, like you said, hi ya, all that. And he did a hoo hoo. It was like an elbow chop. Them. Ho 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 ho. Give you one of yeah. those. Yeah. I think I did hear that when he did. I think he said, he said, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I think I heard that, bro, what it happened. I, I, I could be wrong. I thought I heard that. I was like, oh, okay. It makes sense, man. It makes oh, sense. Stop. But no, that's incidental, bro. That's what I heard today. When I heard marginal, I said, oh, okay. So, wow. He pushing IG down. Like, I know it wasn't a serious push, but just based off of all the fouls we got so far this season, I'm like, if you touch him and he fall down, and it's a replay, bro, it's not- incidental. He- he said, Marginal. Had this talk already. I said this to you three shows ago. I said this exact same thing, bro. I said, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is why I, I don't understand. But yeah, well, well, either way it go, we won technically yeah. because you know we got the ball back or whatever. Yeah, but it's, it's, just a, it's just the it's just the it's just the principle of the whole thing or whatever. Yeah. But no, I, I said this before, man. Um, I don't I don't never understood why games are referee different, man. It's like you 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 feel like letting them play today, or this guy feel like not letting them play. It's like, I mean. I mean, it's what it is, bro. Like I said, I'm just surprised your boy didn't go to the line more than he did today. I was real shocked today. I mean, he was nice today. It is what he was nice offensively. I don't, I don't know what he was doing defensively, but what what you say? I said he was, was that word? He was nice uh-huh. offensively. You mean the, you talk about all? You mean all around, right? What you mean? No, just one side of the basketball offensively. No, you're not. You're not. No, 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 no. He didn't. That's he like, didn't. He's locked down, sir. Don't don't you do that, bro. Don't you do nobody. that, they, bro. They calling him Baby Kawhi out here. All right, bro. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. All right. So let me ask you this: If he that if he that much of a two way player, and that great, right? Mm-hmm. Why was PJ Washington guarding him in the situations, right? Why mm-hmm. he ain't one of that PJ Washington smoke? You said you said Kevin Durant, Luca. 
Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. My bad, bro. I didn't hear you. Something you like to make sure? Might be the reason. Sure I heard you. Mm, interesting. Interesting. I, I, just, I just, listen, bro. I'm just telling you what I was told, okay? You see this right here? This is my I was told book right here. I, just, I save everything so that way that I'm, I'm, I'm smarter than, you I mean, know, for the next time. You know what I'm saying? So I was told. Shout out to Johnny three. B. Shout out to Johnny B. Because ever since we got P.J. Washington, even that first game against OKC, where we, I think, destroyed them that game. I was there. And I remember telling Johnny B, he said, well, where was P.J. against Shea in the first half? And then where was he against J-Dub in the second half? I'm like, he's only one player, bro. He was shutting them <laughs> down when he was playing them. Okay, now he's going, I'll go shut him down. Okay. They're like, well, what happened when he got these points? Like, because P.J. wasn't defending him then. He was defending the other guy. You only got one. But you see now. When PJ says, I'm going to go defend Shea, Shea not scoring, or Shea passing the ball away. So it is what it is, bro. Lockdown. PJ, our, he's a secret key to OKC. As long as we got him, when you got a player, especially, like I said, a role player that goes off against another team, that's incredible, bro. Like, I'm glad we got one of those players and we got it for OKC. So shout out to PJ Washington. Bro. Okay. I was trying to see what Najee had today. Najee. Oh, and shout out to, bro, shout out to Najee and PJ for hitting all their free throws, too. Yes, they were free, free them. Man. PJ clutch, bro. I'm, he's clutch. <laughs> trade him. That's what I was told. I was told. I told trade him. Trade uh, trade Najee. Trade Quentin Grimes. I was told trade all them people. But it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, man, that's all I got for that, bro. You wanna yeah, that's get to this glow yard? Let's do it. Make sure I shout at everybody out. Uh, yeah, my bad, Quentin Grimes. Shout you out too, Quentin Grimes. Might as well shout out Najee too, bro. Just to show him love. This is a good one. I mean, oh, he, he, made, my bad. he made a knucklehead pass, but it is what it is. And shout out Clay, bro. Clay, like I said, he was he was clanking on the day, so people were going to clank. But he was still old Clay on, de- old Clay on defense, though. You feel me? He was old Clay on defense. So I was fine. And like I said, the, I was always told he was going to be trash on defense. It's going to be said, game. Uh, you said shout out to my pops. Shout out to your pops. But um, mm. I mean, he's right on most things. Though, bro. Pause. But uh, as far as um, – I was told he's going to be awful on defense. I already knew he wasn't going to be like great every game. Like it, that's not the way it works. He can't do that. He's no longer the number two guy. He's the number three guy. Like he and he's a number three kind of by committee kind of thing. Like you see PJ Washington off the It depends on we got so much skill that guys can go off and all that stuff. It's about percentages. Like I say with Clay with me and his defense, and he has not been a negative to me on the defensive side of the ball. And he's just had a couple games where he was just fine the other day. So it is what it is, bro. Clay will be fine. I'm okay with Clay. And the gravity he still like commands when he's on the floor, no matter what. So Clay was fine to do. I agree, man. All right, bro. Let's get to the glow yard. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you got any questions or any comments addressing me and King, we asked you this with the WTM. Hit us with the WTM. Hit us with the WTM in front of your question or your comment. So that way we know you're addressing us and not one of your fellow Glow Yard members. Also, we ask you to be respectful in the comment section. And also, too, we will take on all Super Chats first before any uh, other regular chats. And, Keen, we got one so far. Lies, 21-month member. That's one our day one is right there. He said, what's good? Uh, we said, what, uh, what's good? Yep. What's, okay, what's good, guy? Hey, man, you know, y'all yeah, these, I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> been killing me with this. Uh, it's a great win. Uh, feed off from he said, We back to a win streak, yes, sir. We need to stop fumbling in the clutch. By the way, Div was tripping tonight, King. Did you hear that? No, nah, I, I uh, I only caught the part where everybody was talking about uh, Div was tripping. Yeah, Div, Div was wild, but I'm gonna let it be. And it's Div, bro. I'm not yeah, surprised. It's, 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 you know, you, you only gonna, you only gonna get calm deal for about you know you're gonna get it for about 10 games and then he's gonna flip the switch and be completely uh yeah. usually a, a tripping deal he flips the off. switch with streaks so like if you go on like a winning streak then he, he's, he's happy and then if we're going to lose a streak then we get the other div so it is or it is. or he's the opposite yeah. losing streak he's fine <laughs> winning streak winning streak he's, he's fine he find everything everything wrong uh, Kareem's a glow yard member. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry, Ali. Uh, Ali says, hi. What up, Ali? Uh, I don't know what happens in those Kentucky dorms, but damn, PJ always kills Shea both ways, offensively and defensively. Yep. Ali, what are you talking about? He's locked down. Don't you do that, man. All right. 
Green. She's locked in. PJ had an incredible game today, bro. Like he, he was awesome. He almost had thirty and twenty. Yep. Uh, Kareem's a glue yard member. He says, "Shout out to Johnny B." Uh, he also says, "PJ Washington, a goat." Told y'all that, man. Latte is a glow yard member. He says, "What up, Rowan King? What up, Latte? Uh, good win. We should be up more, but I ain't complaining." PJ, that M effort is him. Uh, Twenty-seven and seventeen game ball facts. Uh, he also says, "Everyone played good tonight." Shout out to my goat Kai in the bench. Clay got to be better, man. One at eleven, ain't it? Yeah, but like I said, every man. The only thing we crying about is Clay being it. like it's okay. That's what I'm saying. Don't let's not. Hey. Everybody else stepped up and took yeah. his spot. Like I said, we had what one, two, three, four. We have five, six, seven people in double figures today. So we're, we're fine. Yeah. We're fine. Uh, Black Hippie says, a uh, great two way performance for PJ tonight. Good game plan to take advantage of our size throughout the game. OKC's perimeter pressure was crazy at the end, though. I got nervous for a second. I felt like we just made crazy mistakes. Like Najee started doing too much. So we was up by six. And Old I like the fact that. That Kyrie also too picked his dribble up in that corner. Yes, and but got himself trapped down there. When Najee was over past the the half court line, I'm like, bro, just hold the ball, Najee, and just get fouled. You up by six. All you had to make one free throw, and you you made it a, a, two, a three possession game. You feel me? Like he tried to then throw the like, oh, oh Najee, why'd you do that? Doing too much, man. But it was all good though, man. You got to make mistakes early. They they got away with a clutch victory today over the number one team in the West. So he and then PJ threw that ball to Lively, went off his fingertips out of bounds. Yep. yep. Kyrie, I think you know, that was a jump ball. Yeah. yeah, Kyrie got stuck in the corner. I was like, y'all, come on, man. Let's 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 close it out. Yep. Uh Pasquale, he's a glow yard member as well. He says easy game ball. A major shout out to Hardy and Kai did his thing. Facts. He also says Luca uh Kai, Najee, PJ, Lively, or Gaff will play six man off the bench for now. Moving forward, thoughts. Not against it, but I I probably would start um I probably would start Grimes and have Najee on the bench. I already heard more of my start line of is. I've been saying it all this whole time. Uh Pasquale also says it'll be interesting when Exxon returns. I can see Exxon with Grimes on the trading block per early speculation. I don't think Grimes will be traded. I think I think Grimes better than Exxon, yeah. In my opinion so far, like Wait, why are we trying to trade team. Grimes, man? What's going yeah, on? I, th- I think Grimes is better than Exum, man. But well, Exum, Grimes, yeah, you said that three hit, bro. I'm like, oh my god. But if Grimes, if Exum comes back and like gives us early Exum that he gave to us last year, like the first half, that'd be an awesome addition to the team, like incredible. But I'm not like Grimes. I'm fine. I want to give I want to give Grimes a contract. That's how I feel. Yo. Let's get him for the love if we can. Uh, Frank is a glow yard member as well. He says, "Great team win." Uh, Maxie and Clay were the only guys that played bad, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, Maxie wasn't the worst. Uh, he made a bucket today uh, at the rim. Yeah, he only got two points. <laughs> uh, Live says, what up, Live? He says, hey, guys, uh, greetings and good morning from Berlin. Shout out over there in Germany. Says, great game by PJ. Good team win uh, for the Mavs. Fact. Uh, Frank also says, feel like refs genuinely don't like the Mavs. How you call a phantom call on Najee, but no call for Najee legitimately getting pushed to the ground. Hmm. Frank, what? Or was it able to take I need to get y'all. I told him. A dictionary, man. Frank. What is it? Explain to him again, man. Explain to him again. And marginal, man. The Mavericks make marginal fouls. Every other team makes incidental fouls, right? That's what happens. All right. Well, we, we pretty much what he's saying is compared yeah. to like you're doing a Prince dance or something. Exactly. Like, Prince. Uh, Kareem's a glow yard member as well. I think I said it already, Kareem, but he said, or oh, that one play where Gaff was getting hacked by three dudes. Who pause? And OKC go down on the other end. Who definitely. And Lou Dort gets a phantom call for Maxi. Facts. Uh, Pasquale says this gaffe has to stop. His scoring ability is amazing. He can block. He can guard most, if not all, bigs in the game. Rebounding could be better, but overall, he is solid and plays his role. Pasquale, Ooh. people been hating him. You know that, bro. But bro, Gafford has not been catching lobs this year, yo. Like, how do y'all think he's been scoring? That's what I've been trying to tell people, Pasquale. Like, if he's not catching lobs, he's been scoring more on his own, like one on one. Hey, man, lively, bro. They've been. Yeah. 
Yeah, we got Lobby working out on our uh, on our intro. Curse, what up, man? He said, with ten dollar dono. He said, do you guys think Clay's going through the same struggles as PJ's first year and will be seventeen plus points in the playoffs? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Um, I don't know. I think it's probably just one game. Just kind of, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not really like. I mean, because he like like King just said a minute ago, he looked good. Uh, what was it? Last, last game or whatever? Games, game? Yeah. yeah, last two games. Yeah, he in the last one against Utah until he stopped shooting in the second half. So I mean, yeah, it's just pretty much one bad game. He's fine. Like we said before, if you're not making your shots, man, what else can you do to help the team? And he did what he did today on defense. Caused a lot of deflections and all that stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Caused a lot of uh late shot clock uh violations, man. So yeah. So yeah. Yeah, appreciate that. Don't know, man. Appreciate you, curbs. Uh, Gina Kim says, Hey, she's a Glow Yard member. She says, Hey, fellas, what up, Gina Kim? Uh, beautiful basketball played by the Mavericks tonight. This is how we should have been uh, playing as a team. Facts. This is how we played the first few games of the season. Uh, DV also is a Glow Yard member. He says, uh, Great bounce back game, fellas. Although we shouldn't have gotten that sloppy with two minutes to go. Great to see we made it out. PJ, that do you shout out King? Appreciate you, uh, DV. So was that a clutch game? Yes, that was a clutch game. Okay. We won by what? what was that two? Yeah, that's a clutch game. Uh Pasquale also says, also shout out to Kid these last two games, especially this one. If Clay was THJ for whatever reason, he would ride his misses to a loss. He's learning. I didn't feel like Clay was forcing shots though today, y'all. No, he was getting like, a bunch of he's getting a ton of open shots. Yeah, he was, he was missing shots. So it wasn't like he was like just making dumb shots. It was like, oh my goodness, Clay. Like he was just missing it shots. Was, it wasn't like your boy, man. Out here dribbling. You already know when he do that little yeah. crossover dribble, he's trying to get himself set for a shot. It wasn't nothing like that. They was you know, they were setting a lot of screens for Clay. He was rolling to the corners and stuff like that. He just wasn't hitting his shots. That's all. Yeah. They're wide open. Bunch yeah. of wide open shots. Uh, Kareem also says PJ with his many rebounds is Gaff and Lively combined is crazy. PJ is him. Mm. He said well, people, PJ came out there and played like he didn't want to lose, man. He said, but people want to want to trade him though, and he didn't say people. I'm being mm. nice for the folks that's not watching. Mm. Uh, Gina Kim says game ball to three J Washington. He really owns the Thunder. They woke uh, they woke him up. Now I expect him to ca- catch a rhythm these next few games. Has PJ been out missing peace? Sam, we uh, missed PJ, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, Nancy's also a Glow Yard member. She says, hey, guys, what up, Nancy? Hey, Nancy. So glad to see the ball movement and everybody touching it. Ooh. Oh, uh, PJ was amazing. Gaff looks good off the bench. Maybe PJ should pretend every team is okay sick. He different when he plays them. Facts, Nancy. Can, Facts. I, um, can I say one positive, uh, one good thing about OKC? Yes. I like those jerseys. That was nice. I'm proud of it. Thank you, man. Thank you. You, you growing up. You, mat- you mature and, as they say, what is it, maturation? As they say when they don't say mature, I'm like, just say mature. Me, he told me to wear the collar shirt to be professional, so that's what I'm doing, man. You're looking like Jason Kidd out here. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take, okay, take accountability, though. Why you got to throw shots right after you like, to be positive, you just say you were going to be positive. Like, uh, TGK, he's a glow y'all member as well. He's also the co host of the best damn Mavs pregame show. Look at that, TGK. Wow. Uh, he also says, uh, your boys is Rolling King. Appreciate you, TGK, as always. Y'all make sure to check him out. Y'all already know though. Uh, Nancy's a glow y'all. Well, I already said that, Nancy. Uh, she said, this was a good win tonight for the team and the guys to help build some confidence. But Jason K really needs to work on the last two minutes of the game because they're really sloppy and ugly. True, Nancy. They need to work together as a team on that. But that was more of the – I don't blame Jason K for what was going on in the last two minutes. That was the players doing, like, mistakes. Doing yeah, like stuff. bonehead. Yeah, yeah like, bonehead, like stuff. bonehead stuff. But they should – if he sees they're doing that, they need to practice that then. I agree. And what does he always say? We're going to go look at the tape. Yes, look at the tape. Yes. What up, Ruggs? He's a Glow Yard member. He says Shay seeing PJ in his nightmares tonight, wondering how he can bait him into fouls. His only strategy, bro. And PJ don't never tire, bro. You ever notice that? <laughs> he be out there. I'm like, PJ ain't tired. Even 
post game interview and all. He's just out there just talking. You know? I'm like, man, PJ, you ain't. You, talking. Have you noticed also too since PJ's been back, we've been we've been winning a lot of the 50 50 balls. Because PJ nice. PJ does all the stuff that's not on the stat sheet. That's why real like. When you if you if you understand what PJ does and you like like PJ like even before games like this if you really were like damn PJ nice for our team I wouldn't get rid of him I really know that you pay attention that's one of the signs that you pay attention to basketball like you're not just looking at the stat sheet you pay attention to basketball to understand PJ's importance on his team he's been that dude listen it's about impact yep yep uh, Gina Kim also says like I said uh, this is the start of our winning streak let's keep it up. Game shouldn't have been this close, but I'm glad they finally uh, clutched the game and, more importantly, beat the refs. Facts. What up, Locke? Mav Spear, I see you. You say we back. Salute. Appreciate you. Check out his content, too, y'all. We still trying to get him to his first 1,000. Shout out to you, uh, Locke. 1,000, y'all. Yes, sir. Uh, Slander, he says, Div was incredibly annoying during the watch along with all the Luka BS, but what a great win. Facts, Slander. Hey, man, it's for y'all. It's for the whole glow, y'all. Sometimes... We're going to agree. Sometimes we're not going to agree. Uh, Frank said, Mavs had seven players score double digits points today, minus Luca. They have nine players capable of scoring more than 10 points. They need to figure it out how to stay consistent uh, offensively. Facts, Frank. Frank, you stay with the gospel. Frank, do be preaching on the weekends. You do. Frank, I don't even know he's a uh, moderator, dude. Uh, G the Kim says, You said beside his name, ain't that the little uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, Frank. Uh, G the Kim says, Honorable mention, Uncle Drew, uh, Hardy, Big Dan Dan, Najee, Lively, Grimes, Midwitty. Jeez, I felt wrong saying that. She said, she said, Honorable mention, and then gonna call him Midwitty. I'll call him Midwitty, yep. Uh, Pasquale said, I say that about Gaffer rebounding, he has eight offensive rebounds and 12 overall. PJ with six offensive rebounds, too. That will win you many games. Facts. Uh, Kareem said people falling off the clay wagon like they did. Gaff wagon is annoying as hell. I'm like, damn, these people want perfection every game. I understand that shooting tonight is unacceptable tonight, but relax. Kareem, man, I don't get it, bro. They want perfection every night from every player, bro. Uh, you heard me say this over the offseason. I said this. Because this team is so deep. Everybody other than Luke and Kyrie are not going to have these consistent numbers every night. Like Keen just said, PJ went off tonight. Clay didn't. Clay went off last game. PJ did. It's going to change every every now and then, man, because we don't have a consistent number three guy. We got, like Keen just said, we got a number three by committee. Yep. Just whatever the deal. Number three. Exactly. Look, matter of fact, what was that? They game before that, it was Najee. Yeah. We, you see what I'm saying? So last game it was it was Gafford, wasn't it? Yeah, Gaffer, it's like Gaffer, so, the one to get like, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna change, bro. That's 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 why we're so deep. Yeah, because you should be able to depend on it. Uh, Kareem says people want to trade him already. He was playing great defense tonight, but nobody want to talk about that. Facts. Also, bro, when you just said that, I think that what people always talk about what other teams do and championship teams with the Mavericks need to follow, and that what Boston do, and that literally what Boston does, a three by committee. I mean, yeah. With different guys that can give you 20 something points in different nights. Ain't that, ain't that what we've been crying about? Having more balance on the team to where it's not always sticking to one guy? I thought so, man. That's what I thought. So, but then when it worked, it, 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 <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. There's some, games told, where, there's some games where White gets five points. There's some games where Holiday gets five points. Like, it happens. <laughs> but hey, man. All right, tell you, man, this, this fan base wild to me, bro. That's why I said I ain't gonna never say nothing bad about uh about fan base up again, bro. We, we we deal with that on our own fan base. It's just wild to me. Kareem said people want to trade him already. He was playing great defense tonight, but nobody wanna talk about that. Never. Uh, Gina Kim said Najee almost pulled the Luka towards the end. They all started turning the ball over, but we were still able to keep the lead, so I'm proud of them. I love how our bench stepped up to facts. Uh, Gina Kim said, are y'all worried about Clay? I see many people, including TGK and Sticks, who are worried about him. I'm not really that concerned. He just had a bad game tonight. Next game, I think he'll be fine. Didn't he just put up like two good games? He literally just had two good games in a row, and then he had one bad game. Oh, my God, it's over. What are we doing? Y'all be killing me, man. 
<laughs> right, well, killing I'm, me, man. Just had a good game, too. like an Literally awesome game. Literally, just had a ago. good game, bro. Like, what we, what are we doing, man? Like, come on, y'all, man. Right. Uh, uh, I don't know, people. Like I said, people had their opinions with their emotions. They'd be, yeah. be killing me sometime with that, bro. But go ahead. Uh, she also said thoughts on kid tonight. He was fine. He's fine. He did, he did a good job. I didn't say damn it, Kim. I mean, uh, I said Kim. Uh, <laughs> kid, not one time. So yeah. I guess that's a good thing. Uh, was fine. Even that that BS uh, where he called the uh, the timeout where we should have got the ball moved forward, like refs, man. I don't know what the hell going on, but it is what it is. So supposedly they said during you probably didn't hear it, but they were saying during the game that 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 okay, see, uh, Coach be snitching, bro. So supposedly this guy knows like every rule in the book, like. Mm word for word and so he's the one that was crying about it. like no no they can't do that or whatever because because uh what's they have to go over there and explain to us matter of fact they went and talked to him and they were talking to him and and uh he was like no 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 that's not the rule you, you read his lips and everything you and then my father would kind of mentioned that too and that's when he was talking about yeah this guy supposedly know all the rules and stuff so when kid did that that's when he went snitch like no you can't do that so he just so the referee went over there and told kid when you seen kid was like so the referees so shay already get like the, the greatest free throw whistle outside of him oh, all ever, time, right? and he gets who, who, that. Who get a who get a greater whistle, uh, Shay or Jordan? You take it too long to answer, man. Just go, just go, say what you gonna say, man. Take too long, bro. Oh man, that's a hard question. I'm gonna say, <laughs> no, I'm gonna say, man. I'm gonna say Jordan, man. I'm gonna say Jordan, bro. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know, Shade, man, but I'm gonna say Jordan, though, bro. Like I told you, Jordan will walk up the referees and tell me to the. They did a bad job, and they bro, like, you know, you know what's sorry, funny, bro, bro. Joe, Joe would cuss out the ref, and they'd be like, and they, they would never take him up. Hey, did no. Joe never got a tick? Dude, I mean, it's rare. Before, it, but... got, it's rare. Joe would get texted. Right, Joe would be in referees' faces. Bro, like... you hear the audio, bro? He cussing them out, talking about yeah. their mamas, all kind of stuff, bro. I'm mean, like, I think, yo, that, I think Jordan got the best uh, whistle ever, probably, bro. One of them, man. He deserved it though, but he, he <laughs> like I said, the referees knew their job. They were like, huh. Yeah, you, yeah you, you paying my chick out here, exactly. pretty much. BJ, he's a Glow Yard member, pause. Uh, he said, sit sit the week out, Luca. we got this. At least the next game. Like, at this point, they could have set him out three games in a row. They should have set him out the last game. Should have set him this out game. last game. This game this and the Pelicans are back against the Nuggets. Yes, I, I would do that if you're going to do that, yo. That's what you should do. For. Uh, Gina Kim also says, if y'all could grade the performance tonight, what would y'all give them overall? I give him a A minus. A minus, I give him. Hey, no Atlanta. Uh, Rogue says, uh, Hardy looked like a playoff Hardy again. Give this man his minutes. Let Hardy run the second unit, but please stop putting Spencer out there with him. Hardy, Grimes, Najee, Maxi, Gafford, run it. I mean, Spencer did like today, man. I'm not mad at him. Uh, Ruggs also says, Can we trade Div? Div for Yon is straight up. I don't like his attitude, the way he carries himself. Div and two first for Yon is let's go. <laughs> hey man, send, send it in, Ruggs. Send it in, man. Oh man, stop, man. You're gonna stop bullying Div, man. What up, Jonathan? He says, Spencer is off ball point guard. He works to stage in his career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like maybe he doesn't need to be on the ball. Maybe that's why they're trying to get Jaden Hardy to be Jaden Hardy, is bro, so he can be the point guard. And Spencer could be the two guard. You know what I like about uh, Jaden Hardy too. He's always going downhill, bro. Yeah, bro. He don't. He's not scared. Nope. You can tell when guys scared to get like hit. I'm not. Not gonna talk about the fact that he got hit a few times going in there. He only shot free throws. What two free throws today? If he ever starts getting free throw calls, bro. I mean, Jaden Hardy. Yep. Maybe a 20 I'm sorry. Score. One. Well, he got to end one, so one free throw. He might. He might be a twenty point score. He's still getting free throws. Mm. Uh, Gina Kim also says pace was faster too. That's why I want Luca to rest up for a few games. Once he's healthy, he'll be able to keep up with everyone else. He's slowing th- things down, which makes it easier for other teams. Facts, especially when he goes into his isolations for his. Uh, like I told you, when he gets out of momentum, we have at times that he goes in isolation like three possessions in a row, and he like long rebounds and all that. That just hurts the squad. He got to figure out how to get easy buckets. He got to continue. You've been getting that like backdoor cuts and things like that. Yep. He got to continue to do that, and un- he got to learn how other guys play, basically, because they can set him up now instead of like everybody figuring out how Luca plays and then getting the spots where he passes the ball. 
he needs to now see what, how Najee uh, like dribbles or what he does, his moves, how he goes left and all, so he can go the other way and like make a cut or something like that. Like he now has to learn his team and trust his team completely. Now it's now on Luca to a, adjust. Uh, Miriam says uh, Kyrie a great leader. He he allowed his teammates to shine and not play hero ball. They just need to work on their turnovers. Facts. He did. Kyrie did an awesome job today, especially early. He he didn't need. They were into the game with them, and he just let them continue to lead and keep scoring. And then when they needed him in buckets, when it got close again, he just gave him good buckets and just moved out of the way again. He did an awesome job. Today. He was an awesome leader. Good point, Mary. Uh, Nancy also says Maxie is still afraid to shoot the ball when he wouldn't shoot the ball. Uh, it was like a domino effect of turnovers at the end of the game. Facts. <laughs> Uh, Johnny B said he's a glow yard member. He said this game didn't make me feel any better about our team. We had all the advantages and still almost choked. This was a measuring game, and OKC is a better team. If they were healthy, we get crushed. Though we, Johnny B, you said we were going to lose. You already yeah. said we, we won the game. You said then, it was, then he also said if we win the game, then he'll feel better. Yep. Then they won the game. Then we won the game. Dog. He said we almost choked, which means we didn't choke, and we didn't have Luka Doncic and OKC a better team because they don't have their guy. Though we missing our main guy. They missing role players. We missing our main guy, but they're better. Uh, I don't get it. Boy, you yeah. a div. Y'all be night, downers, bro. man. Y'all be yeah. Debbie yeah, downers, so. man. Boy, I told you this fan base is wild to me, bro. I, I ain't never. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a take the money tonight. I'm not gonna ever in my life say anything bad about uh, Atlanta Hawk fans ever again, bro. I'm never. This fan base is wild to me, bro. But go uh, ahead. Bro. You see, the Kim also says the refs made up a foul so they can give SGA those free throws. It was clear he didn't touch him anywhere, and SGA didn't show any signs of him being hit in the face. But refs wanted extra pay. Jeez. Uh, Rug said, I think I like Shea before my, the MVP thing with Luca, and now all I want to do is break him down and talk ish about his game. I feel like that is unhealthy. I wish I could like them both for ESPN. You can like them both still, Rug. Just dislike them when he play the Mavs. That's what I get to. Just that's 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 that's, yeah. that's fandom. That's how fandom should be. Like when, when guys you like on other teams are playing your teams, that's when you want them to do bad. Other than that. You can cheer for other guys to be successful, man. They players. So what what Brooks is saying, I I, I know how he feels. I told him I quit working with this dude that was an OKC. Well, he went to OKC fan. I'm sorry. He was a Kevin Durant fan. Mm -hmm. I used to like Kevin Durant because I used to watch Texas Longhorn. He used to be my, my college team. And as soon as he started liking him, bro, he made you hate Kevin Durant, bro. And so it's probably part of what he's saying about ESPN making you hate Shea. Like, sometimes, man, you got to try your best to try to separate that, man. Yeah. Separate what they think to what you think, bro. Hmm. I agree, though. Uh, Nancy says, I'll bench score 50 points tonight. <laughs> what? Hmm. Uh, Johnny B also says, Shea will get an MVP before Luca does. He ain't going to get one this year before Luca. Okay. <laughs> as long as uh, Jason Key is uh, tinkering with the uh, lineups and stuff for, for 30, 40 games, you're probably right. Let's see if he get a championship before him, though. Uh, BJ also says the development of Hardy is what we needed. His playmaking has been amazing. Facts, BJ. Uh, Gina Kim said we play the Pels next. So does that mean an, a Najee masterclass? I hope so. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, I could see that happening, actually. I really could, too. Uh, Johnny B also says good win, though. PJ was very tough. I wish he played like that against everybody. He's definitely looked like the number three. I told you to go back and forth, Johnny B on PJ, man. I don't I don't take good. Uh... I'll take Johnny B's opinions of face value. Uh, it's kind of like ebbs and flows. You just take it for what it is at the time. Locke said if PJ is the third score, should Clay go to the bench? Man, I wouldn't mind if Clay go to the bench either way. We got we got good problems. That's the thing. Like everybody want to throw everybody away after every good performance, after every bad performance. You feel me? Like it's yeah, like one before one bad performance. Trade him. Yeah, yeah one good like, performance. Sign him to a five year extension. Like Jesus. We Christ. didn't have Luca today. Clay started and we won. You feel me? It wasn't like Clay started and we lost. We won. Not to say about you, Locke, but just in general, like we gotta stop. Like there's nothing wrong happened. So why are we gonna change the lineup right now? Like let it be. Well, I feel like we we hear more complaining tonight about this win than than the losses. I told you the Maverick fans are greedy now, man. Uh, Frank also says OKCs are like are like uh, Chihuahuas, all bark, literally no bite. Mm. Yeah, ain't see no barking tonight. Rug said, uh, hopefully Clay has accepted his role because if he wants to be featured, we have a Clay problem. He is looking like if THJ could play defense and rebound, I still trust him shooting at least. Nah, nah. He's not. He If he wants to be featured, we have a Clay problem because Clay not out there trying to be featured. 
Clay been out there shooting under 10 shots in games and all that. Like, nah. Mm-hmm. Bro. He had one bad game, man. Like, I. Bro, slander shit. Every t- I told you, man. We. And we trying to make the team perfect, bro. So like oh, everything we see wrong is like up to date. Clay didn't shoot. Clay didn't shoot twenty for twenty. Trade him. Like, get him out. P- PJ man. made three threes today, so he the best three point shooter on the team now. You feel me? Hey, if he if he go uh if he go three for for nine this game, they gonna be talking about trade him too. Oh, uh, trade him, man. Like, he literally just had like you said, damn near a 30 20 game. But yeah, now, now yeah, this. Bad game, tra- yeah, you know what it is. Uh, Sl- Slander says every team with a powerful. Remember though, before I say this, they wanted to. Uh, put PJ on the bench for Najee. Don't forget about that. That was just a couple games ago as well. When he said, yeah. oh, remember, put Najee out there maybe when PJ wasn't playing because he was injured. Bench him, hey. put Najee out there. And I also remember when everybody was talking about trade Najee too. Yep. Uh, Slender Man says every team with the power forward with size that can put the ball on the floor is going to kill OKC. And if they try the Al Hard Chet lineup, they're going to kill the spacing that helps Shea operate in space. Facts. Slender, I've been saying that. That's why I don't know how Hartenstein will help him against us. Uh, C Nan says, uh, much needed win. Besides the last two minutes, our role players shine. Hopefully, that rough stretch is now behind us and we build on our potential. We were meant to go through that, y'all. We were, we were struggling in the clutch. We had to get over the hurdle. That was just like one of those moments of you had to fight. Everything was on your shoulders. That's just adversity. That's how it works. <laughs> and they got over it. I'm not mad about it. Like, don't shine a light on them, like struggling. Shine a light that they actually won against the best team in a clutch game at the end. They pulled it out. So I'm fine. Pause. He said all his life he had to fight. No Kendrick Lamar. No Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Uh, DV also says, uh, I don't like how everyone on this clay trash train. Shooters have shooting slumps. I'm sure he'll turn it around. Plus, just his gravity on the court is important. Helping the team. Shout out. Tell him, tell him, DV, man. DV, I guess you love preaching too, huh? Uh, Gina Kim said, it's funny how all the players, fans, uh, wanted to trade. Our players, the role players, and showing up like we need them not to. Not playing. Not playing. playing I'm saying their roles and showing up like we need them to. All they needed to do is be patient. I, I yelled the last show. Yep, saying none of them been playing bad. Like, that's the issue. I've No role player has been like, oh, man, you trash. No. We really have literally been saying this since game one of the season. Yep. Literally been saying this. Like, it's going to take time. Give them time, man. Like, I, I don't understand, man. I, y'all, y'all say y'all patient. Because when I asked this question after the oh, – what game was that? Uh, who we lose to? Utah. When I asked folks this question in the Utah game, I got a ton of ends for people saying, like, they're, they're not panicking. They're going to be patient. Now, all of a sudden, I'm seeing folks panicking with these decisions of trade this guy, trade that guy, move that guy. Why he in here? Why he not in there? I'm like, bro, come on, man. Are y'all really being patient? Or are you just you just saying that at the, at the time until something else changes your mind? All right. I keep – I'm going to say the same thing. I see a championship team here. All we got to do is get it together, bro. <laughs> we- Listen, I'm going to say this again. I said this at the Utah game. The only thing I'm mad about is I'm sick of the slow starts. Yep. I'm sick of the slow starts. That's it. I'm just sick of seeing the slow starts every single year. I'm tired of it. This team we saw tonight is a team that we've been sitting here talking about they can be. Yep. All, all season, we've been saying that they could be this team right here that we saw tonight. With the balance, the depth, all that stuff, man. We said this. Yep. We just tired of them with the slow starts. That's not me giving up on the season and saying shut up. They are gonna be a lottery team. They gonna go get Cooper Flag or nothing. It's just, I just want you to play better to start off the season to position yourself. Hey, you could have been OKC right now at eleven and three if you did the right things. Yep. Or well, uh, played right or whatever. Position yourself right or whatever. Uh oh. Frank says Johnny B talking down the Mavs, but currently is on Twitter trolling OKC fan base. He's like kid, no consistency. Mm, that might be shots. So, that sound like uh, what's his name? Uh, like uh, Captain America, LeBron Muse, or whatever. Oh, he, yeah. he, he was back and forth in OKC's uh, playback and our playback. When when I'm mean, not OKC, uh, Golden State. When they were losing, he was in Golden State. Talking about y'all losing to Clay and. Uh, Dallas and all that. And then when we started losing, yeah, we started losing. Yeah. Back over, he, yeah. he went in there for like a long period of time. We started mm-hmm. like playing real good and stuff. Then all yep. of a sudden, toward the end, he came back in there. Came back. Oh, y'all losing and all that stuff. I'm like, man. Uh, Gina Kim said, What was that Morris tap? Anyone know what happened there? Morris got a tap. Yeah, he got a tap. For what? From the bench. Uh, I'm not even sure. 
<laughs> Rug said tonight reminded me why I love this. I'm in love with this team. Uh, they played for one another tonight. They brought heart. They brought energy. They didn't panic. They trusted the guy beside them, <laughs> except Maxie. Let's effing go. Shout out to Maxie, huh? What up, Larry? Larry, Larry of the Dixon way, y'all. Uh, make sure to check him out for all Atlanta content. Just to check it out, man. Even if you're not an Atlanta fan, he does awesome content. Uh, he said, just stop by to hit the like button. Have a great stream, fellas. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, Appreciate you, man. My God, man. Appreciate you, Larry. Uh, Gina Kim says, you still want to trade Hardy King? Defense still trash. Don't switch up now. No, nah, I'm kidding. My baby was cooking tonight. Like I said, he's Kyrie's Robin. When he's confident, he's amazing. I'm not. Nope. I'm, yes, Gina Kim. Whatever you say. I'm not going I'm, I'm, I'm to. I feel like you just don't like have the energy to explain yourself, bro. Like, I, I don't, bro. Not again. I'm not going to do I, it. Yeah, I'd mean, be hating to have keep explaining myself like 20 million times. Like, you know what? You got it. Whatever. Yeah. I told, I, I I told Rugs already, G to Kev, like, all right, I'm, I can't do it. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel to say, yeah, he, he explained it on one of the members only one day. We talked yeah. about it. I was like, yeah, this. Yeah, you got it, G. Yeah. We, we, we hate him, trade him. Trade. All that. Yeah. <laughs> Rugs said. <laughs> Uh, how nice you hit Shay in the face, but Gaffer, Kyrie, Hardy all got smacked around, falling to the floor. Uh, Shay pushed it off on Najee for three, but yeah, that's just basketball. TCJ equal to NBA refs 2022. To there 25. you go. Oh, that's it right there. Gee, Rugs. That's it right there, man. Rugs, you got to explain to Gina Kim uh, what I said about <laughs> Hardy, too, man. I got my truce, man. Because if you accepted my apology, then she would, too. But I never really, I never wanted to get rid of Gene. Oh, you don't, don't. But it is what it is. I said I wasn't gonna talk about. It. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, Gina Kim said OKC fans want to blame the refs. Ironic. <laughs> In all honesty, Maverick should have gotten more free throws, but it's whatever. Maybe they should stop hacking. Facts. Well, OKC fans is wild, man. Uh, Nancy says, "Why in the world does Lou Dort get away with putting his hands around the waist of Luca when playing defense?" And that's not a foul. Hmm. Because he established that's the way he plays, so now the refs uh, let him do whatever he want to do. Yep. Uh, Gina Kim said, "I don't." You just better not do that. Then he's gonna call a foul yep. on you. Uh, Gina Kim said, "I don't understand it though. How come they they call a foul or flavor for the other team when they get hit in the face? But when it happens to us, it's marginal or no call. Marginal. There you go, Gina, Gina Kim. There you go, Gina Kim. Marginal. It's, you it's, like you, it's not like you said. Who? 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 Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just not making sure what she said. I didn't, I didn't hear. Uh, Frank also says, y'all see Dort nearly put Kyrie in a headlock. Dort ain't following no NBA rules. He going by NFL, WWE rules. Yes. Put that man in AEW. Hey, they even said on the broadcast, they're like, it's not a foul? <laughs> like, mm. like, Jesus, uh, man. Uh, Salam says, shout out to Nico for the roster build. Oh, man, people were going in on Nico on Twitter, man. But <sighs> it is what it is. Uh, in the past, whenever Luca was out, the team we put on the floor was straight jokes. Hopefully, we can use this time without with Luca out. To get other guys going, yeah, they were going, they were destroying uh, Nico, man. They wow, man, this this young fan base been tripping. Uh, I'm gonna say so. I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting this right. I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting this right. You destroy Nico, but you, but we can't criticize Jason Kidd. No, nah. gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You were saying. Dina Kip said, and the refs were also trash for waiting uh, to call out fouls a thousand years later. Gaff was fighting for the ball under the rim, getting fouled and all before they even called it. Yep, bro. What was that one call they called for Shea? And I think like Najee ended up getting the rebound, did that one dribble, and then they blew the whistle and called a foul for him. I'm like, bro, that's like the latest call I've ever seen in my life. It was like the referee trying to make sure it was, uh, you know, if it was gonna go in and not up and then go in. Okay, foul. I'm like, bro, that dude grabbed the rebound, was heading the other way, and y'all called a foul for him. Yep. I'm like, yeah, y'all just wild, man. They do them late calls all the time, all the time, especially against us. Uh, yeah. Pasquale yeah. says, not trying to trade nobody, but do we keep Grimes and Exum? I'd sign Grimes, but he don't take the extension this far. Probably too early for all this trade talks anyway. So, Pasquale, again, Grimes is a restricted free agent. Yeah. You don't got to worry about Grimes. If we, need, if we want to get Grimes, Grimes is going to be on the team. It's set up that way. He's a restricted free agent. Exum, like I said, I, I want to see the team get healthy and play the way they should be playing. Then we can talk about if trades need to happen, but I've already went to the season thinking we got the team to, to win a championship already. So if Axum comes back and come help the team, play defense on the perimeter and all that type of stuff, but and be a, a, a ball handler. Like I think he'll be a, if he plays like early Axum, it'll be a nice pickup for our team. That's like picking up a player, basically. So I'm fine. I'm not thinking about trades yet. Me. Either. 
I know we, we joke about Giannis in them, but I'm not thinking about trades. Hey, we had we had folks to think about trades after the second game of the season. Like I said, nobody's been trash yet, so why would I trade them? Unless I feel like I think it's just the chemistry. The, the, the guy that's been the worst, I guess, player, not player, but like not himself, has been Luca. So I need him to get himself together. Other than that, like, let's go. Uh, Big Jay's a glow yard member. He said, What's up, fam? What up, Big Jay? Uh, let's take this win. Facts. Uh, Lawrence says, Ball movement looks good on us. Hope Luca watched the game tonight. Facts. Gina Kim said, I couldn't believe we were watching PJ and the Mavs cook, and all I heard was we should trade Luca for Giannis. Uh, yeah, so Giannis can be out injured. Diff was making everyone upset. <laughs> Kareem, you got to go back and uh, listen to the playback, man. It's on YouTube if you want to hear Div, man. Div was wild. Uh, BJ also says Luca going to come back and be like, do you guys miss me? Nah, man. Y'all got to give Luca more credit than that. Y'all, y'all keep treating Luca like he's just trash and he can't adjust. You know what's the crazy part about this fan base too? For everything that Luca done for this franchise, yes. all of a sudden now it's like just get rid of him. It's like mm-hmm. y'all, wow, dude, li- literally led y'all team to the finals, and now y'all treating him like he, like he Tim Hardaway or something. That's bro. exactly like, what I said to Div today, bro. I said, Div, bro, Luca, you, wow, y'all giving up on Luca already? I can't believe yeah, it. It's, it's crazy. Dude That's just what, took us to the finals, bro. I mean, we out here. Well, not, not we. I'm sorry. Not saying even to. not even saying BJ saying that. I think he's joking on that when he did the LOL. But that's the type of stuff. Like players are human, bro. You don't think Luca see when the fan base all going off of him on Twitter and all that in that da- like his Dallas fans saying that I would read that and be like, oh, that's what y'all think, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. That type of stuff, like, nah, you gotta chill, man. Luca's done too much for this fan base for people to treat him like that, man. Like switch up, switch up is nasty. Us. Bro, the switch up is quick, bro. Yeah, Loch Ness Monsters. What up? He said, I don't mind me. I'm just here for Johnny B. OKC slander. <laughs> no, he can be mad slander OKC, right now. Yeah. Yeah, he can be mad slander a lot. This was his. This was his time. This is what we waited for. Like no, 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 no. He switched it up. He switched it up. He's like, no, nah, you know what? Never mind. I was going, but no, nah, never mind. Gee. Uh, Div says, uh, Rel King, Luca better realize he about to be traded to Milwaukee if he doesn't start showing up and getting in shape. <laughs> okay, Div. Uh, Frank says, speaking of depth, uh, Knicks have no depth there, and their starting five is going to be tied by playoffs because their starting five are averaging 33 plus minutes a game. Jeez. Mm. Sound like a tips. Problem to me. Uh, Div also says, uh, I hope Luca gets to see how good the team looks without him and he realizes and he realizes he has to be a part of the solution and not the problem. King Row, I see. Can't disagree with that deal. Yeah. No, he also said, "Real honest opinion: Did the team tonight on offense look better without Luca? Did the deep offense look more smooth? Tell these Luca stands, man." Oh, I thought you was a Luca stand, dude. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that was a shot. That was what he told us. I mean, I don't know. It's what's funny is that now he's trying to change it on the show. In playback, he was talking about the defense was the problem with Luca and all. And we kept telling him, no, the issue was Luca get his offense together would be okay. Now he's saying if the offense looked better without Luca now. No, I'm like, man, Div, you are you did the ultimate troll, man. He be instigating. Hey, who, who, who more of a troll, uh, Div or, or Johnny B? Johnny B, they shh, one black, one white. Uh, Cam says, <laughs> he, said, uh, he said, no, no, Janet Jackson, no, uh, Michael Jackson, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, just Michael, man. Who came? Who's on that song? Was that Mike? That's just Mike. You think the screen? Yeah, okay. Because it was in black yeah, okay, and yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. It was in black and white. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cam says, uh, "Mr. Sob showed out tonight, like always, versus the Baby Thunder." Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I do want to uh, see what them, th- them Thunder fans saying. <laughs> I'm glad it's happening on a Sunday too. Oh, it is Sunday, ain't it? Yes, sir. Uh, Frank also says Dave was questioning about the defense and playback. Not the, there we go. LOL, not the offense. I just said the same thing. You switched that real quick. Uh, Gina Kim says, David, uh, Frank, I told you, Frank be keeping receipts too, man. I'll be watching Frank. Uh, Gina Kim said, Dave and Johnny are the skipping, skipping mad dog of the uh, glow yard. Oh man, the skipping the mad dog, huh? Uh, Melvin said, 10 game win streak coming up. Joker hurt, Jai hurt. I'm just saying, I can see it. Wait, wait, what? I heard if Joker hurt, what's his name about to be in trouble? He about to get MVP though because of that. 
But Lucas still got a chance, bro. I told you. I told you, bro. Like, right? I'm not thinking about it, but like it, they still got a chance. It's early as hell in the season, bro. It ain't even Christmas. Well, you said you said, oh, oh, he hurt. Dang, MVP, you better for get the MVP. <laughs> yep, like MVP, man. He, he out for 85 games. Don't worry about that. He got the MVP. As long as he played 65 games, bro. Hey, he, he wasn't there the whole time. They lost, so that, he, he's the MVP. Like, wait, what? They about, to, they about to start losing without him, bro. Watch. And they're gonna get up. Led a team to the number one seed. That don't matter. They're gonna get up to the six seed, bro. If he gets them hey, to they the got six the, seed. They got the uh the thirtieth best record in the league because he wasn't playing MVP. Like we MVP. <laughs> he get a bed with a crutch on with crutches on, man. They, they give him the MVP at the house. Like, come on, bro. Man, it's already ready. Pat Squally said, I think playback stage set the stage for the early trade talks. There was a lot of that LOL emotions already high this season and a Discord if, if uh going to be wild or is going to be wild. Yeah, Pat Squally. Talk about today, playback did that. Yeah, if you were uh Div was talking about the this, this, uh, he would trade Luca for, for, for Giannis. Ah, okay. They said he traded That's for Shea. Too. Started, bro. Okay. He said he traded Luca for Shea. Talk the same say that Luca killed in the playoffs. That's what I say, bro. He kept telling me, and because uh, Giannis is healthy, he take care of his body. I'm like, but Giannis played less games than Luca. Though. What are we? And Giannis had better teams, still couldn't get out the second round most of the time. That's why I told him when the last time we seen Giannis out the first round. He didn't want to answer that one either. But Gina Kiff said we won, but all I hear is negativity. Can we just enjoy this win and look at the positives? Nope. We can't do that, Gina Kim. You know, can't do it, Gina. You know how it go. Uh, Daniel says a great win for the Mavs against the Thunder without Luca. It goes to show you that one guy doesn't carry a team. It takes a whole team to win games. Yeah, people want Luca traded for young. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I'm sensing a theme here tonight, man. Sensing a theme here tonight. Uh, Div says, honest question, is Luca reminding you more of a James Harden in the style of play or LeBron based on this season only? How can uh, – neither uh, one of them based on the season only. No, 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 no. Just go to the next question. Yes, Div, sure. We'll, we'll let you – yeah, you got it. We'll, yeah. We... Div, Div, you're wild, man. That's right. Mm. Uh, TGK also says, uh, Hardy really stood out to me. Can we get healthy Luca and get him situated with the way we played today? Slowing down the ball like he does can ruin Randall for this fact, CJK. Because I don't even think we top five in pace this year. We like middle of the we like 11th. That's we're, tell not too, we're not too far, but we need to. We might have we might have went up a little high after the day. Uh, so BJ, we were that number, boy, like number three or number two last year or something. Yeah. Uh, BJ said, how are we talking about Clay as a part of the reason why he left Golden State? We got to chill. He's taking the shots we want him to take, but we need to talk about these Lucas trades. I'm joking. Yeah, I know BJ, but people were wild on this clay stuff, man. Clay was fine today. He, he missed shots, but he's gonna miss sometimes. I don't I don't know people expect, bro. Like I I'll be know. I'll be tripping up, man. He dudes can have 85 games in a row. Man, we were dealing with that last year with PJ. Like PJ had all these good games, then he had that one back in with Johnny. And I mean one day you asked him, he's like, bro, so he, he played bad, we need to get rid of him. He said Johnny, but he played yeah, out of five games, he played one bad game. You want to talk about the one bad game? Like, what are we, what are we I doing? Told you, bro? I, I don't get it because it only works for certain players. Certain right. players have like immunity. Like, they're like, you have to, you can wait 52 games for that one game with other players. But with certain players, they have to play 52 in a row of like incredible perfect. basketball games. Yeah. yeah, like, games, yeah. I, I don't get it. Uh, Daniel said there's been people on some social media wanting Luca to be traded for Giannis. And honestly, I'm sick of it. We should not trade away Luca because Luca is a generational type. People, wow, man. That's why I say Luca, man. You got to, they got to stop doing that, man. Then they wanted to say, will Luca stay here forever and all that stuff? Well, you pushing them away. Why would he? It's negative energy. That's why I always said if Luca was a leave, I wouldn't even be mad at him. Uh, Gina Kim said, I'm enjoying Mavericks basketball again. Yeah, that was, that was nice Mavericks basketball. That was a good game. That was a good, that was a good game. Just really good game. I'm sorry, Karen's not a mess. Uh, BJ said, I just hope the refs don't help other teams just because we have two centers and we have the advantage. It's already starting the beginning of the season. It's not our fault. Other teams are small. Yeah. yeah like I said, BJ, we, did, we didn't get that benefit of doubt when it was reversed. <laughs> B, oh. BJ uh, says, uh, oh, no, I definitely don't want Luka going. I remember the Yogi Ferrell uh, days. Well, what you mean, BJ? That, that was a lot of days, man. We was a championship contender when we had Yogi Ferrell. Remember we was mad? Yogi, Yogi, uh, Yogi mate. Yeah, yeah. Remember we was mad Yogi went to the Kings? Like, who cares about that now? But, like, we were really mad about that, bro. Like, <laughs> we really was mad, bro. We was mad. I was mad. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
Lay this on the back. He had them seven good games in a row. He walked, that? no, he, he walked. Remember, he uh he he bluffed us. He's supposed to sign the contract, and then he went and signed the Kings contract. He did his dirty. So did because then we then we uh he yeah, gave him uh, a chance. Then, we I think the Kings the offered him like one more year or something on the contract or something yep. like that, or extra he, five mil or something. He went over there and signed with the Kings after we gave him the chance and all that stuff, and he said he was gonna come play. But yeah, that was dirty, and his career never was the same again. So he said that's a kid. Hmm. Uh Div says uh, I want to make Luca play better at home. So if he thinks we are against him, he will play better and shush us. LOL. I see what you're doing, Div. Reverse psychology. I, I understand that. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, it can't Div ain't falling for that, man. Dude, the kids said everyone talking about Luca like he washed. He's just struggling because he pushed himself for us and carried what we needed him. He just needs his rest and will adjust when he gets back. Facts. Uh, Richards is also a, a moderator. He's a Glow Job member. He says, wow, ready to trade Luca, but they still want uh, Dwight and Maxi. That should say all you need to know about the fan base. LOL. There you go. That right there, Richard, is the comment of the night, bro. Right there. Mm. Mm. You're preaching right there. I, I, Yes, you're right. Kareem said, don't forget Luca threes was trash for most of the playoffs after his knee got hurt. Uh, of course, his threes still going to be shaky if it's still bothering him and he's not 100% right now. People act like those threes he take, uh, he can't make. Yeah, he can make them, Kareem. I think the issue, like I said, my only issue with Luca's is shot selection. Just he can't be taking all of them if he know he hurt and can't make them. Don't yes. be shooting nine, 12 threes. Like, chill, bro. Get to like six, seven. And then be like, no, you ain't. You know your legs causing you issues. You can't get lift on it. You stepping back on that leg that's already giving you problems is causing you issues when you're trying to shoot that step back three. Yes. So we're just saying, like, if you're hurt, choose another way to score. Don't don't keep doing that because you're not making them. I agree. Daniel says, Relin King, I truly believe that we're about to go on a win streak because I feel like they're getting to know each other's strengths at the right time. If Clay's, if Clay gets going, we're streaking. I believe we are too. I told you, eventually we're gonna go on the streak, y'all. Like we losing right now. We're gonna eventually have win streaks too. It is what it is, but we're fine. Remember, we lost five in a row last year after a trade deadline. I mean, we won seven in a row, then we lost five in a row. Yeah. And then we went back on another run before we went to the playoffs, then went to the finals. So it is what it is, man. We got Jason Kidd. This happens. Uh is what it is. Exactly. Uh, Varun says we are going to be top six in both offense and defense and then being a loaded west coming off the finals appearance with an even deeper team. Western Finals, uh, two thirds last year. We are uh, uh, two, two out of three years. Two out of three years. Yeah. I'm sorry. We are uh, be, being mad slept on. Yes, we are being slept on, but it is what it is. I, I mean, you're justified right now. Yeah, it is what it is. You just, <laughs> you, it's, your, it's, it's, a, it's your it's your job to change change those narratives, man. You got to play better. Uh, DV says, Joker not hurt. He just had a baby. Oh, okay. That's still how I'm like, getting DV. Just that baby. Oh, he had a baby. <laughs> MVP. MVP, bro. <laughs> you are right there. Uh, Gina Kim said, "I thought Joker was out for personal reasons. People were saying he was having another kid. He ever got kids? I didn't. I don't even know Joker's personal life. I, ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I know he married." Uh, Div says, "Come on, King. You see how Luca personality sucks. Even in the freaking All Star game, View got blocked by the rim. View was embarrassing in the All Star game. I mean, I, uh, he don't. I don't know. Based off of what I've seen for Luca on the court." I don't know if I want to be friends with him, per se, but there's other great players I wouldn't want to be friends with. Like, I wouldn't want to be friends with Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan. And so it, it is what it is. I'm not a big fan of his personality on the court, but I ain't going to deny who he is on the court as far as his skill and all, Dave. Like, let's stop playing, man. Bro, you got to stop acting like y'all care about these people, uh, personalities yeah, off the court and stuff. I don't care about that. What, it, can you can you get me wins? That's all I care about. I, I've never met him a day in my life. Not exactly. yet. I'm not hanging out with him. It ain't really no big deal to me. Win basketball against as, as long as he ain't putting his hands on nobody, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Like as long as he be professional, yep, and win basketball games. This is a job. Uh Dave also says Raul King, the GOAT is by far John Jones and UFC dude is unreal. Just wanted to pay. Yeah, man, he dominating heavyweight now, bro. Like John Jones is dumb. John Jones might be the greatest fighter of all time, just in general. He just might go down as the greatest fighter of all time, man. Uh, yes, <laughs> Frank also says they are already hyping Joker up with the Nuggets losing today. Uh, Jason Temp calling Joker the best player in the league by a mile, like Luka never carried more back then. Told you, bro. Told you the baby, oh, baby man. Man MVP, bro. Yeah, uh, man. Div says King, if Luka comes back and starts dominating against fifty piece games, please do not call me out on playback saying Giannis Div. I will though, Div. You already know. You already know. Div, we gotta say, we gotta save receipts, man. Come on, receipts, now. you know how we do. Man. 
Uh, Daniel also says, matter of fact, I wrote it down, dude. We be ready for you, man. Oh, it's, it's all right in that roll of But uh, you know Daniel, Daniel says, uh, honest take, what was your thoughts? What was your guys' thoughts on Paul versus Tyson fight this past week? Honestly, I thought Tyson wasn't his best and feet were given out on him. I wanted Tyson to win. I wanted Tyson to win, but I told folks before, and I thought Paul was going like, to like, it's a dude that's like, what, 28 or whatever? It was minus, basically 60. But the thing is, it's not, and it's not like Jake Paul doesn't box. He's a professional boxer. He just, I don't I think he's, I don't want to say overrated because he ain't really fighting nobody. He's just not that great of a boxer. But Mike, a 60-year-old dude, for him to go eight rounds, like even though they were two minutes and all at 60 years old, I, I probably couldn't go two rounds pause. Folks. So that was incredible. So I'm, I'm Mike did what he's supposed to do. And first two rounds, he won two rounds. So that was incredible for him to be 58 years old. And then it went the distance and I thought he'd get tired. He got tired. Uh, yes. There you go. Uh, Varim says, uh, the fact clay has been a minus B defender is a huge win. Uh, also, Luke is still playing top 15. Everyone acting like he's trash. There you go. Uh, Gina Kemp said, I hope Luca doesn't uh, play the Pels. If he does, I think he'll look good because he usually comes back on fire. If he still looks slow, I hope he adjusts and lets other have the ball more. I agree, Gina Kemp. Let me see. Uh, boy Tanner said that Mavs jacket clean is, is Ephra. And about the team, it's a bunch of new players getting used to one another. I ain't worried. Luke is going to be the goat by the end of his career. That's no, I'm saying this is just the old school shoot around shirts that they used to wear back in the day, man. They even do that. What they do that? No, they don't have like these type of shirts no more, right? They got the it's t-shirts. The Jason, it's the Jason Kidd shirt, man. Stop playing. Hey, he did wear these. That's what I'm saying. The Jason Kidd shirt. Yeah, Jason Kidd bowling it. shirt. That's uh, what I like. <laughs> 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 he's, a boy, he's a player, Jason Kidd. I like G the kid says, but there's no one I would trade uh for Luca. I appreciate everything Luca's done for us. Every player has their flaws, he'll improve and be better as time goes on. Yo, we were just talking about Luca being the best player in the world last year. Now people we saying they want to trade him, bro. Uh Div says, I don't wow. think Paul is a good boxer, to be honest. He doesn't fight real boxers, and the ones he does fight, there are 58. Come on, guys. He couldn't knock out a 60-year-old. Nah, Paul sucks. So I didn't say I'm not saying he's a good boxer. I don't think he's a good boxer. He he is the ultimate celebrity for Floyd Mayweather. He he only fights dudes if he has an advantage, and he makes y'all buy stuff based off his advantages. Where you like, I hope he loses, but he doesn't lose. He's not gonna he's not gonna lose to an MMA fighter because MMA fighters aren't boxers. He goes and trains to be a boxer. Like that's what I'm saying. So he's he's a trained boxer. So guys that do MMA aren't gonna be a trained boxer. So he's going to fight guys that are smaller than him, that may have a bigger name, that are older than him, that may have a bigger name. The one time he fought a boxer that actually was a professional boxer, he lost. It is what it is. But I still yes. try to get advantages. And he that's why he has one of those fights and he's got all that money because people watch him have an advantage and he wins. Uh, Gina Kim said, and I agree, King, if we had Braun, Luca would definitely pick up on his habits. If Kobe were here, Luca would have taken advice from him too. Thanks. Why wouldn't he? But yeah, man. Listen, that's going to probably do it for us tonight, man. Ooh, perfect timing. It's going to probably do it for us tonight, guys. We definitely appreciate everybody uh, rocking with your boys tonight, man, for this dub. By the Dallas Mavericks, they beat the dreaded OKC Thunder tonight, man. No Luca, no problem. Uh, we will be back here on Tuesday. The Mass play the Pelicans, so we will be back here. It's not, it's not a what's name, is it? A, uh, is that an NC tur- tur- tournament game? We played on NC tournament. It sh- actually should be, shouldn't it? Hmm. Is that an NC tournament? Ain't it, tu- ain't it Tuesdays and Thursdays in November? Am I tripping? Good. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like like TNT and TBS. Uh, is it? I think it's Tuesday and uh, I think it's Tuesday and Thursday. Though, I think something. It, it might not be. It is okay. The, is the Denver game one too? Yes, is Denver, Denver is. I think I saw. So both Denver and the Pelicans both are the, uh, in season tournaments. Oh, okay, back to back. Okay, so Tuesday then Friday. Is it Thursday or Friday? Tuesday and then Friday. We got two days in between. Okay, so we got two days in between. Okay, so it's it's Tuesday games and Friday games in November are, uh, what's the name, uh, cup games then. Uh, yes. If you said yes. the Pelicans one is on Friday, right? They said it's a cup game, then I'm guessing it must be Tuesdays. Pel- 
Yeah, yeah. Pelicans Tuesday, Denver Friday. So yeah, probably. Because there's certain days that are set for uh, for coming to games. But uh, but yeah, listen. Go ahead, and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, too, if you guys want to become a member of the channel, go ahead and hit that join button right there next to the subscribe button. Join some of the uh, glow yard here on Fridays as we talk all things Dallas Mavericks with the members on members only Fridays. But if a game falls on a Friday like this Friday we were just talking about, we we about to have that members only post game show on them boys. So y'all guys can uh, join us up here on the stage, the members of the channel, and talk about the game that night. All right, can you get anything else, man? I'm missing. Uh, share, share, more share. On our way to to 500 on playback. I think we just got to 380, so we real close to 400 there. Uh, once we get the 500, we get more VIPs. I know we like basically fill up on VIPs very quickly uh, on playback right now, which is not a bad thing. Thank you guys so much for helping us out. But we can get more for more folks to watch the game with us. Uh, also, with the show trying to get to our six goal of uh, 5K, uh, we pushing 31 already. Uh, so appreciate y'all with that, and uh, just continue rocking with us, man. We'll see y'all again on Tuesday. Hopefully, we can get some wins in this uh, finally for the end season tournament. So we got another back to back coming up. Any of these games late games? No, nah, if it's East Coast, then no. The Denver, what about the Denver one? Is that the Friday one? That's not late either, is it? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. I mean this on a Friday, so it won't really matter. But actually, if it is late, I can do a K fade beforehand. It is uh Ooh. 1030? Nine, my time. Nine, your time's ten, my time. Ooh, I can do a K fade, then it'll stop right when the game got to start. Oh, we're playing here. Two. I'm playing Dallas late. No, yeah, yeah, I play, I play here. We're playing Dallas. That's why Luca didn't go to OKC. He left him oh, back in Dallas. So could, okay, okay, okay. Chill. That makes sense. And then you play. I think we play in Denver Friday, right? We play here. Uh huh. Play in Denver Friday, in Miami Sunday, in Atlanta uh, Monday. Yeah. Then we play the Knicks on Wednesday in Dallas. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, I can do a K fade more Friday then. Nice. I can damn that's gonna be a yeah, that's gonna be a members only post game. Yeah, okay. Nice. But that's it. Okay. Yeah, sorry, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't 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 too much. But listen, we'll be back here on Tuesday, man. So y'all go ahead and hang come on back here on Tuesday. Follow us on playback, like King said, when we stream the games and also come back and join us here for the post game show, man. Follow us so what on all that? our socials. Last thing, and follow us on Blue Sky. We try to get our numbers yes. up there, y'all. Go to Blue Sky. Trying to transfer stuff over there. We hopefully, hopefully move it one day. We are trying to pack up stuff and move. But follow us over there, y'all. Before we do, please. Yeah, so that's what I'm hoping too, man. Yeah. I ask King every day. Is it now? He'd be like, "Shut up! No, it's not." So, not yet. Yeah. But yeah, listen, y'all. With, with all that being said, it is your boys, Rolling King. We talk math. We talk Dallas math from a fan's perspective. We will be back here on Tuesday. Same map time, same map channel. He ain't got me out here with the collar shirt on. Say be professional. Go Mavs. And we out.